In this video, I want to talk more about how to get colors to be more interesting inside a shape. Although green and blue and red and those colors are really cool, it's sometimes nice to have a mix of colors inside our shapes just to make things look interesting. So in this case, I've clicked on the black arrow, I've clicked on my rectangle, and I'm going to click on fill. And you can see I've got all these colors here. You can also see I've got some patterns, but that's for another video. What I want to do is add a gradient. Now, a gradient is when you have a mix of two or more colors inside the same shape. Now, there's a couple of ways of doing this. We can go down and choose one of these gradients here. That's a white to black gradient there. And that will immediately just give you a white going all the way to black through all the grays. That's not the most interesting gradient we've got. So I'm going to put that back to blue and this time show you the correct way of doing it. I'm going to go up to window and I'm going to go to where it says gradient like this. Now you can see my gradient is here and it is a white to black. I'm going to click on the gradient tool over here and just click inside my shape and you can see it's taken the gradient right there. Now while the gradient window is open you can now see that the white is on the left hand side and the black is on the right hand side. If I click on that white and then double click you can see I have now got a choice of any color so let's make it a light blue. I'm going to now go to the black double click it and make it a dark blue but I can also make it red or I can make it yellow or whatever color I want. Even more interesting I can go anywhere in this gradient slider here, click, double click the new color I've made and start adding as many colors as I want. So in this case, I can make kind of a rainbow gradient. And once you've made your gradient, you're allowed to move the sliders around to make one color bigger or smaller. You can move the top sliders around to make the gradients sharper or smoother. So really your imagination is your limit here. Now let's say you wanted to add a gradient to your text. Well, I wish it was as easy as just clicking the black arrow, clicking on your text, and then choosing a gradient. But that doesn't work in Illustrator because text is a little bit special in Illustrator. It's a very simple step in getting a gradient into your text. You go up to Window, and you click on Appearance. You make sure that you've clicked your text and over here in the appearance window, you go to the top right where that little button is there, click on it and say add new fill. Once you've done that, you can see the gradient I tried to put in is already there. I can of course choose the other gradient that was there, the white and black. But now once we've got that there, we can close the appearance down. We can go to our fill and we can actually go to our gradient options. And over here, we can now do what we want to. So for example, if we wanted to make it a yellow to red, we can do that right now. So it's one little extra step that we have to take, but it works. Now, one thing I didn't show you is what we can do with the gradient once it's made. So if we now go and select our rectangle, go back to that gradient button on the left, we can now move our gradients around so we can actually figure out what the position of our gradients are. So that's quite cool. We can also go to the end of the gradient and rotate it so that the gradient is actually the other way around. So we can move things around, we can rotate them, and we can make our gradients do what we want. So you're not limited just by the gradient being left to right, you can have it diagonal. And also, if we go back to our gradient options, we can change a gradient from being in straight lines to being in circles. So that's yet another thing we can do with gradients to make our designs look really cool.